Hey guys, TSL here back with a brand new video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how you can make your very own double jumps for your games. So, uh, this tutorial is based off the Roblox uh, document thingy, but there will be a few changes and I'll show you how to like add a counter GUI thing to it as well. So, the first thing we'll need is a local script inside of our starter player scripts. I have one right now, and it has print hello world in it. So the first thing we'll be doing is setting up a lot of our variables that we'll need. So we need a user input service variable, a local player, a local character, humanoid, can double jump, has double jump, uh, old power, time between jumps, double jump power multiplier, has jumped, and our jumps. And we can also delete that one. So uh, we're going to have it so that we can double jump, triple jump, and quadruple jump. You just have to add or remove from this list depending on how many double jumps or whatever amount of jumps you want. So, so the next thing I want is to make a function called len, and that's just going to get us the length of a table and also a jumps used variable. After that, we will need a function for our jump requests. So we'll say on jump request, function on jump request. Then we want to have a check if it's not the character and not the humanoid, and our character is, is not a descendant of workspace, or our humanoid state is equal to enum dot humanoid state type dot dead then we just want to return out of this function after this we want a, another check this one's going to check if our jumps use minus one is going to be less than our or is less than our number of jumps that we have and that we can double jump. If so, then we're going to change our humanoid's power to its old power multiplied by the jump, double jump power multiplier. And then we will also change the state to enum.humanoid type, state type dot jumping. After this, we'll have a character added function. So we'll do local function character added, we'll say new character. And then we'll just need to attach our variables to some stuff minus this one. Then we'll need to have a humanoid state changed function. And we can change this to a capital connect. We will need an if statement to check if the new the new humanoid state type is equal to landed. If if it is, then we set ju double jump to false. We set jumps used back to one, and our humanoids jump power back to old power. Then we'll have this else if statement that checks if our new uh, hum enum dot humanoid state type is equal to free fall. If it is, we'll wait the time between jumps. We'll just print add jump and we'll say, or actually we'll remove the print. We'll set can double jump to true. And then we'll check if we have not jumped, then our jumps used will add one to it and our has jumped will be equal to true. And if, if we have jumped, then we'll wait between the time between jumps and has jumped will be false. This is just a D bounce right here. So then, so then the second to last thing we need is to check if our local player's character exists. If so, then we'll do a character added with a local player dot character. And the last two things we'll need 
is a local player dot character added colon connect character added and a user input service dot jump request colon connect on jump request now uh, instead of this we're doing this instead of the space bar like pressing checking if the player clicked the space bar because this will work for both mobile and computer so let's go ahead and test this out if we click play I can jump and then I can jump again, jump again, jump again, but I can't jump any more than three times after I already jumped. So look, one, one, two, one, two, three, and we can only jump three times. So to make it so that we can use all of these in here, I'm pretty sure all we have to do Let's change this to a less than or equal to. And now we can say one, two, one, two, three. Okay, so now I want to show you guys um, like just how now we're just going to make a GUI for this. So inside of start GUI, we'll make a screen GUI. You want to call this uh, jump GUI. Inside of it, we'll just have a text label, and it will be 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0. We'll bring it down here, make it like this size, and we'll align its position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 point uh, 1 comma 0 and we'll set the anchor point to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and we'll change the uh, position on the Y to 0 0.9 or 0 0.8 okay so then we'll change the background transparency to 1 text scale to true font source sans bold go a text color of white a text stroke transparency of zero and we'll say zero out of zero jumps and we will also make this visible to false to start then in our script in our script what we'll do is our on jump request we will say player or local player dot player GUI dot jump GUI dot text label dot visible is equal to true and local player local player dot player GUI dot jump GUI dot text label dot text is equal to uh, jumps used dot dot slash dot dot and our length of jumps so let's go ahead and try this now. One, two, three. One, two, three. So then once we uh, land, we will want to copy this first of all. And then when we land, we want to set this to zero. zero out of that and this will be visible to false so then when we go here test this out again one two three one two all right so uh that works pretty well um there is just one thing wrong with it If, if we do jumps use minus one like that maybe all right so I think I know what we could do so we use jumps used and then remove the minus one from here and then if we play this one two three or one, two,
and then change this to less than or equal to, and we'll do one, two, three, and then we land one, two, three. Okay, so now you see that works perfectly, but what I want to do is in our length function, we want to change the length to start at one, um, because then that is what our jump used starts at, or we can leave it at zero and start our jumps used at zero, and this should work the same. So one, two, three, one. Okay, so now let's uh, start this at one, start this at one as well. So now we should be able to use all four of our extra jumps. Well, we have three extra jumps. So actually it is right, um, but what we should do is display it as jumps used plus one concatenated with length of jumps plus one. So now if we jump, all right, cool. So let's just do this, whoops. In, uh, we should probably move this. Let's try to move this somewhere else like where it will work better. So maybe right here. So now we jump. Okay, so it does get a little messed up because of when we spawn in, we don't have a spawn point. But if we do have a spawn point like every game does, and then we play, we'll spawn at the spawn point. One, two, three, four. It still goes to five. So yeah, the other spot was the place we needed it. length of jumps plus one but I also want to um, actually I think where we should display it is here right before we add to the jumps so no still should be there in the other place so we'll leave it here and what we want to do is uh, so I know what we'll do we'll say else if not can double jump then will also display like this, so hopefully it will show it on our first jump as well. Okay guys, so I'm back and I fixed the issues. So the first thing I did is I changed our jumps used to start as zero, and I made a variable called EC, um, and I made this so that it sets jump used to zero and EC to false when we land. Then I also removed the extra wait time between jumps up here. And then finally over here, I made a, I checked and made sure that our jumps used was not equal to one because if it was one up here, we set this to like that. So the GOI's text like that. If so, if it's not equal to one, then the first thing we checked is if our jumps used is equal to the amount of jumps that we have and our EC variable is equal to false. Then we set EC to true and our GUI like this, and then we just return. But if our jumps used is equal to the length of our jumps used and our EC is true, then we set it to jumps used plus one. And then if it's none of those, then we just set it regular as well. So let me show you guys how this works. So we go in the game one, two, three, four, one, and one, two, three, four. So guys, as you see, it worked great, and yeah.
Alright guys, well that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video and this helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And we are trying to get to 1.1k subscribers before the end of January. So you guys have two days to get like 14 subscribers. I mean, we've gotten 15 in a day before, but I mean, it's been pretty slow recently. But I know you guys can do it. Just just make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on new videos. That being said, guys, see you in the next video. Bye.